my farm itself has about 500 cow dairy farms, and people say, oh, that's a factory farm. Well, really, it's my family owning it, running it, working on it every day. That's a free milk for Ag Day on campus. We got chocolate and wine. This is our third annual Agriculture Day on campus, and we started uh, as a Collegiate Farm Bureau three years ago, and this was our first big event as a new club. And basically our purpose is to promote agriculture here on UW-Madison's campus. So we're trying to bring the College of Agriculture and all that goes along with it to the other side of campus where um, there's more a variety of students that aren't necessarily connected to a farm or the College of Agriculture in any way. This year we're partnering with the University Club and it's been an awesome partnership. They've um, really stepped up and been able to help us source local products. I just started here last January and last April I saw a group of students out here freezing in a very cold day and I happened to know a couple of them. I worked with their parents uh, when I was younger. I was chatting with them and one thing kind of led to another and we decided to co-sponsor and basically kind of add you know added value to the farm products for the agriculture day so rather than just passing out just simple things we thought we would do some more composed items and then still have some of the great products that Wisconsin has so it's cheese and sausages and just feature the things that we do great here being in Madison and being part of the food culture the farm to table movement that I've really watched um, kind of mature in the in this city is just fantastic and it's great to have the entire community the entire population you know, knowledgeable about where their food comes from, what quality food is, and why it's important to support locally raised and locally sourced products. How many people do you think one farmer feeds? One farmer or like one family farm? One farmer. One like farmer. farmer. Um, I would guess around 90 to 100 people. It's 155 people. Wow. Yeah. More than I thought. Quite a few, you know, it's definitely been expanding. You know, our generation of farmers is feeding twice as many people as our parents did using actually less land and resources. It's very impressive. Mm -hmm. We definitely think that um, giving people a chance just to raise awareness and think for, even if it's for one day this spring, about um, the importance of agriculture to our daily life, um, whether it's producing fuel and fiber or, or the food we're sharing with folks today. If you're wearing clothes, you're a part of agriculture. If you have lunch today, you're a part of agriculture.